so these are all um, Afghan pines, otherwise known as uh, desert pines, also um, called like Mondel pines. There's a few different names for them. Um, the scientific name is uh, Pinus elderica, um, sometimes considered a, um, a subspecies of uh, Turkish pine. Um, anyway, so these, uh, these pines, the seeds uh, do not require any pretreatment. Um, all you need to do to sprout these is you just take the, the seeds you receive, put them in a, uh, a cup of water for 24 hours, and then um, you transfer the seeds into a paper towel that's uh, been damped down with some water and keep it in that plastic bag. And within a few days, you'll get some sprouts. And as soon as you get those sprouts, you wanna go ahead and um, transfer those into uh, little cups full of uh, uh, potting soil. Now these ones are already in five gallon containers because the roots do grow pretty fast. So these, um, I started them out in, um, in I believe March or April. Um, and right now it's August and they already are big enough to where those, they're getting a little bit cramped inside of those, um, those cups. Um, I grew actually over a hundred of these. I already planted several of them on my, on my property. And uh, I've also got more of them over here. So these are Afghan pines as well. And uh, they're doing really well. They're very fast growers and uh, very easy to grow. I, I really recommend growing these from seed. Um, you do have to be a little bit patient, um, but once they get to this size, they start growing pretty quickly. So I, I definitely recommend uh, growing these from seed. Very drought tolerant pine, um, supposedly co uh, cold hardy to uh, zone 7A. Right now I'm uh, planting them in a zone 6B in Winnemucca, Nevada, and uh, hopefully they will survive the cold over there.